Hello, Joseph. Trouble? I just found out it's Jan's birthday. And I heard it's her 60th, and I so should have got her a gift. Jan Hill. Yes, tonight's the crucial night. We'll have to send her a present. What should we get her? Why don't we do a story on her life? Maybe you can show her what impact she had on everyone. Do you know what? That's not a bad idea at all. I was hoping you were going to say that. There's so many stories to tell you wouldn't believe. Hmm, if that's the case, we're going to have to call in the best. Where's little Billy? He knows Jan well. Why not Billy by day? Hello, Billy. Could you be a real star and help us? I'm a little star. You might be a little one, but you could also be the best. With your help, we'd like to look over Jan's life and see what she got up to. Joseph's just told us it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Nanny! Let's start this video at the beginning, perhaps when she was a little baby. Where's Nanny? You'll see her in the video. We made a video, Nanny! Not just a normal video, this will show her the impact she had on everybody. That's been a good idea. That's what I said. But we gotta make it without her knowing. Let's do a surprise. A surprise, Billy, that's perfect. We've got all the elements now, let's go make it. I love you, Nanny! I love her too. But I swam it. Jam it. The future is ours, so let's plan it. Jam it. So please, don't tell me to can it. Jam it. I have one thing to say, and that's damn it, Janet. I love you. The road was long, but I ran it. Jam it. There's a fire in my heart, and you fan it. Jam it. If there's one fool for you, then I am it. Jam it. I have one thing to say, and that's damn it, Janet. I love you. The ring to prove that I'm no joker. There's three ways that love can grow. That's good, bad, or mediocre. Ooh, What's that? Can't you see? No, oh, I can't see a thing. Oh, I forgot. You haven't got your wings yet. Let me help. Yeah, I can see a person, but I can't work out who. Oh, you know her. Let me adjust it a little bit more so you can get it. Well, that's Trish Dodds, Jan's sister. It is indeed. What's she doing there? Trish is going to explain Jan's impact at the Don's Calf. What's the Don's Calf? The CAF was um, Wimbledon's training ground, Wimbledon Football Club's training ground. They came in when they were training and they'd have their sandwiches and their drinks and whatever. But then Mum and Eunice um, built on that and they made it into sort of like a working man's CAF because it was on the Kingston bypass on the A3. And the lorries used to come in and have egg bacon and bubble and they really, really built up the... Um, clientele, so it was really busy there, which is why they then could employ me and they could employ someone else. It was great fun, we had some great laughs there with the footballers, we were there in the run up to the cup final, which was brilliant, the TV used to come and film, we actually watched the bit where John Fashion fell off the wall, <laughs> when it was being filmed. This? Of course, this is the 1988 FA Cup Final, when Wimbledon took on Liverpool. It's one of the greatest matches in football history. Everyone thought Liverpool were going to destroy Wimbledon. No doubt about it, it will finish 4-5-0, possibly more. Then we could be in for the biggest score that this stadium has seen. But Wimbledon went on to win 1-0, and it was one of the biggest upsets of all time. Was it? I don't understand. Liverpool never scored in the FA Cup final. Wimbledon won one nil. Why are Liverpool winning the FA Cup final in '88? This never happened. I don't understand. Let me explain. 
Without Jan Hill there, Liverpool went on to win the 1988 FA Cup final. Jan was one of the few people that believed Wimbledon could win that day. And through her work at the Don's Caf, she got all her friends and family together and took them to the game. Without Jan, these people would never have gone to the FA Cup final and the Wimbledon players would have felt all alone without support. Vinnie Jones, for example, he spoke to Jan just before a kickoff. Jan's words of wisdom spurred Wimbledon to a 1 0 victory. Wimbledon, they've won the FA Cup. Just get what you want to if you want, as you can get anything. First time I met Jan was at the uh, Tablet Court Disco. Jan was there to receive the cheque on behalf of the fundraising committee. And uh, after I'd Jan had collected the cheque, I thought, mm, she looks rather nice. <laughs> and um, from then on, after the evening was finished, I think we had a little chat. Not much was said, but um, a few days after that, I managed to talk to a lady who worked with Jan who very kindly gave me her phone number and uh, we agreed to go out for a drink and um, when I actually phoned, Jan thought I was ringing on for a fundraising pack but uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, yes, we went out, had a nice evening and uh, when I dropped Jan off, she said to me, well, keep in touch and I thought, well, what does that mean? <laughs> so anyway, I gave her a ring the following week we went to the pictures and uh, well the rest is history. I found a dream that I could speak to a dream that I can call my own. I found a dream. The first time at Jan's family was at uh, Bill's 21st. Uh, met your nan and granddad, Pat and Marge, Trisha, and um, I won't tell you what Bill said to me about one of her former boyfriends, but <laughs> it was to the fact that you were a lot better than the last bloke. <laughs> yeah, and I realised then what a lovely family they were, and um, I'm just very privileged that they are part of my family now, and um, I'm very grateful to all of them for what they've done for us. Pat and Marge, yeah, the first time it, uh, Pat and Marge was, uh, we went up to their flat one Sunday afternoon and I'd already met them previously at, uh, at Bill's 21st, but uh, this was the first visit to Pat and Marge with Mason and what a lovely couple, they really are a lovely couple and uh, I couldn't have wished for a better mother and father-in-law and um, when my dad died, I always remember that Pat said to me, I will be your dad now and I actually put that after he died. I actually wrote that and said, thank you for being my dad. I said, I, if I hadn't met Jan, I don't know what I wouldn't have been as happy as I am now, that's for sure. Because I, you know, after you lose someone special, then I often thought to myself, well, is that it now? Do I, you know, so I just go, sit myself in a pub, but I was very fortunate, as I say, to meet Janet at Tadworth Disco, and um, I'm so glad that she's in my life, and I wouldn't ever want to be without her. Yeah, I mean, Jan is 
of the opinion that live for today and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, she does enjoy life. And I think I, I was never used to having family round at, you know, at our house when I was young. And I think now, because Jan is very into a family, and I, and, I, and I love seeing all the families and I class Matt and Will and Jenny and Becca and, and Billy as all part of my family and I'm sure they except Daniel was part of theirs and um, but yeah so I just love you lots Jan. Um, I'd just like to say Jan you are one very special lady and um, the way you've helped me with Mum and Rosemary over the years it just shows you what a very kind and caring person you are. And I love you very, very much. And um, I hope you have a really lovely birthday. Love you lots. Bye bye. Wow, Jan Hill's really had a good life. But she's still got loads to go. In fact, it's still her birthday. It is indeed. Before we go, let's see what George Bailey thinks of Jan Hill's life. I bet he'll be impressed. Right. Oh, boy, Clarence.